So the, the permitting process and the restrictive covenants and the Army Corps of Engineers and county and state and federal regulations that apply to building on the water are pretty daunting, quite frankly. And I suppose there are separate ways to do that. You can do all of that yourself as the, the, the landowner um, and then bring your, your builder in. But someone who is familiar with your area knows the people knows the offices uh, and can answer specific questions about <clears throat> that location uh, and, and what they're going to try to accomplish for you at that location, I, I think is invaluable. It became very clear to me early on when I was working with uh, the, the county permitting uh, folks that they would ask 10 questions and I would know the answer to two of them and I would have to go back and research those and, and find out the answers. So, you know, I would strongly recommend that uh, you, know, you, you work with a company that, that knows the area, that knows what the typical restrictive covenants are, that has worked with the permitting folks before and, you know, preferably knows them by name and they're confident in the builder and the builder's confident in them to, to help answer those questions smoothly. Um, and I think, you know, uh, Brent and, and his team were extremely helpful. We, we tried starting out doing it ourselves, but once we were able to transition and, and contracted uh, with Packwind Design Build, then almost all of those questions were answered and taken care of by the company. And it was so much easier for us. And we were so much more confident the, the answers were going to be yes. Um, because the people who were issuing the permits knew that they were dealing with someone they could trust. Um, so a local builder um, and you know, someone who knows the people, knows the area, is incredibly effective at getting a very, very complex bureaucracy to, to work with you to achieve that goal.